philosophy of theatre in the 21st century and the concept of existence. Just some of the big themes at this year's International Theatre Conference in Azerbaijan. In its fifth edition, the event in Baku, the country's capital, offered a rich programme bringing together scores of theatre experts from across the world. We're training actors and stage directors who will work in the theatre of tomorrow and we've even created a laboratory which is part of our theatre school. An important financial partner who's supporting our lab came to speak to the actors. He asked, how do you see the future of the theatre? These actors who are exposed to new technology said the personality of the actor will remain pivotal. For the event's organisers, theatre has a critical role to play, as does culture in the broader sense between people, citizens and their place in society. A point emphasised at the second International Theatre Festival, a corresponding event which opened immediately after the conference. The programme included plays, opera, modern ballet and an array of experimental work from international theatre companies. There were also puppet shows for the younger generation. Puppetry is really important uh, for young children to get to know art itself and then they are better visitors of theatres, better listeners, readers, observers of uh, art, uh, visual art and so on. Noon's Land was created by the Merlin Puppet Theatre Company. The show is about a lonely creature trapped in an environment he has not chosen. One day disappointed with the world he discovers, he decides to make it better. Another highlight was Aria, performed by the Italian theatre company No Gravity. Directed and choreographed by Emiliano Pellissari, the show revisits the theatre of the Renaissance and Baroque eras. Featuring music from Monteverdi and Vivaldi, it incorporates circus-like performances, unusual characters that move in a magical way in what seems like out of space and time.